here the last day um, my final blog to you before we break up to the summer and I'm absolutely covered in ice cream I am sticky and smell like Neapolitan ice cream it's not pleasant at all uh, for those children who are in green team so if, you, if your child comes home and tells you that they are in the green team they have won this year Kestrels have won and their treat was ice cream and in the middle of it we had a fire alarm go off so started off really nice ice cream and then got very melted and slushy ice cream but it's we've had a laugh and we've got through it I'm sure they'll uh, tell you just how much fun it's been watching Miss Dawson get ice cream all over um, so well done to them well done as well to the nursery who took part in the safari toddle you raised £1,292.90 so that's a huge thank you uh, from your teachers because of the money that you've raised excellent the raffle I think everything has probably been collected now thank you very much for supporting us with that we did have 10 lovely prizes and they've been collected and you've helped raise funds for the school so thank you um, we've got the leavers assembly coming up this afternoon which is outside and unfortunately it's just started raining so I really hope that that goes off well um, a huge well done to the year sixes for their leavers do last night they were really sensible so well behaved and had a great time um, just mentioned then about the fire alarm that's gone off uh, if your child is a team captain from year six I am immensely proud of them they managed to usher all the children from key stage one out of the hall without instruction from me and get them lined up at the marshalling point so it's a testimony to just how mature our year sixes have become excellent excellent response from them very pleased I'm putting out a newsletter on the website with today's blog uh, to let you know all the really important information for next year I know lots of people have been asking but we've really just needed to try to get to this point first the hope is that for next year the children the majority of children will all start at the same time obviously there'll be a difference for nursery nursery sessions will be 8 30 to 11 30 and 12 30 while 3 30 if your child is going to be with us in nursery key stage one children so that's your reception children up to year two they're going to be starting at 8 45 and finishing at 3 15 and the key stage two children will be starting at 8.45 and finishing at 3.20. There's lots of information on there. The key thing you need to know for next year is that we're not uh, going back to having parents on the playground on a morning. So unless your child is in nursery, you will be able to drop your child off at any of the three gates. They will be open from half past eight until quarter to nine. They will be staffed and the playground will be staffed as well. So your children will come up onto the playground and they'll be looked after until they're collected by the class teacher. It seems to have worked this year and we're going to continue with that. You will, however, be expected to pick your child up if they are year three or below and it gives you information on the letter as to where you pick your child up from. There's also information on there about um, water bottles, continuing with hand washing, the dinner menu which will also be on our website and really importantly there are all the dates on there because we're hoping that we will be able to get back to a normal school system so we have booked trips already for autumn one and two we've put down the harvest festivals and the carol services and the christmas parties and we're just literally hoping that we will be able to do all of those things all the information is there including the inset days and a reminder again that on the 6th there is an inset day so Monday the 6th of September don't send your children into school the children will start back on the Tuesday the 7th um, all the inset days are down there plus the term time calendar is also available on the website please check it out if you need to know when half terms are um, and, and when you know everything is happening we'll try to keep that updated for you as much as possible we also need to just mention about the um, RSPB award we've been given a bronze award for the school for all the hard work that people have been doing with the bird watching and feeding and everything else we're very proud of that um, we are saying a goodbye uh, today which not only to the year sixes but also to a member of our staff so 
Mrs Lampert, who has worked with us for as long as I've been here, we started at the same time, has decided that she's going to retire. She's got lovely grandchildren that she wants to look after and we we'll hope that she really does enjoy her retirement time but she really will be sorely missed by all of the staff and all of the children and I know that you would like for me to to say to her that we wish her all the very best. Finally a huge thank you to you as parents that have supported the school so much this year for us to get through this. It has been one of the craziest years. I thought last year was bad but it's 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 nothing <laughs> nothing in comparison to what we've got through this year and we have got through it your children have been massively resilient the way that they've got through all of the lockdowns isolations and everything else that we've had to go through we really hope that we don't have any of that again next year but you know we don't know if we do we know that as parents you're going to support us no matter what and help us to get through we really do appreciate, you, you don't have to, we say this every year, you don't have to, but it really is appreciated the, the things that you've sent into school to show the staff how much you, you care and how much you think about them. So thank you very much and thank you for those parents and children who have sent me things. It really is lovely, it's just nice, it's a nice touch and it's, it's great to know that we are appreciated because sometimes, you know, the complaints and the niggles are the things that we remember. And we shouldn't because there are far, far more of you who are grateful and say thank you. So this is me saying a thank you back to you. Have a great summer. I will see you all in September. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. And let's see if next year can be the kind of year that Rook's Nest is renowned for rather than the way it's had to be this year. Okay. Take care, everybody. See you in September. Bye.